In this video I'm going to talk about how you can test your distance sensor outputs at the TCM uh, and it's not that hard what you'll need to do is get access to the TCM and you'll need a multimeter something like this which has an option here for the Hertz so it's going to measure the pulse width modulation frequency as well as the percentage there when I cheat mode it'll change that to the duty cycle because they're the things that we're going to measure each of the sensors you'll see what the the pulse width modulation frequency is and that should stay constant uh, if it changes gears we'll see a change in percentage and what we should see if it's in a neutral position that particular shift rod should see about a 50 percent duty cycle if it's selected in one direction it should be around 20 percent and if it's in the other direction, about 80%. Uh, and that might help you identify where possibly some issues are, other than just PWIS codes, etc., but where the problems might lie inside the distance sensor. To get access to the TCM, uh, this is in a Boxster. I'm assuming it's the same position in a Cayman, but if you remove the liner from the boot, it sits up here. There's just a couple of tabs here. Press down. This thing will slide out. It normally sits uh, in that position there. There are two plugs a grey one and a black one. And it's the grey one that we're going to look for. I've removed all of the insulation tape for that just so I can separate those wires out a little bit more easily. Uh, and what we're going to do is remove this big plug off the outside, separate the two separate uh, plugs inside and then we're going to plug these in separately prior to then getting the car going. When you are pulling all this stuff apart I would suggest having the battery disconnected uh, and then only once you have everything plugged back in again, then you can put the battery on. You'll notice here that there's a black and a grey uh, side to this. I put black on this side and grey because that would normally sit in that direction there. So when uh, these are separated later on, I obviously need to put the correct uh, sort of smaller plug in the correct position. To separate these, you can see there's a little tab just there. If you move that sideways, let's do that there then these just slide straight out like that. And so now what I'm going to do, obviously the black side goes in this side here. I've got the battery disconnected. I'll go in there. And that side just pushes in there. And now the all the connections are connected as so though this was uh, pulling it down. For the pinouts, I'll put this at the end of the video. This is just the little cheat sheet that I've made up uh, which helps you work out where the pinouts are. But for what I'm looking for here, uh, for the distance sensor, the outputs are pins 21 and then 32, 33 and 34. They're not in order for the distance sensors, so you'll need to look at those a little bit more closely. And they are referenced to ground. And the output ground is pin 4. Pin 4 is that big one back there, the grey wire, so one, two, three, four on the grey plug. And the pinouts for these here, the distance sensors, uh, that 21 is actually that one in there, and then the three along this side, which is why I've separated those out so I can probe from the back by separating those wires out a little bit more easily. Now pin 4, that ground does go to ground, so you can either put your probe straight down and stick it in the back there, or you can just select the ground anywhere on the car, uh, it's exactly the same position, and then we're just going to probe the back of each of these to see what the outputs are. So I've turned the car on, uh, so the TCM is now fired up. Because I was in park before, it would have already had first selected, so I'm expecting on shift rod 3 that I'm going to see other than a 50% duty cycle. Um, but I probed the back for the ground into that pin 4 and now I'm just going to go through each of these just to see what the responses are. So distance sensor 1, this is for the uh, PWM frequency, so that's a bit over a thousand hertz. 2, about 860, 3, a bit over a thousand, and 4, about 860. Now I'll just change that to duty cycle. So distance sensor 1 expecting 50%, which we are. Distance sensor 2 expecting 50%. Distance sensor 3, this is where I'd expect something different. 
about 80%, so that's about 78%. That's pretty normal uh, for first selected and distance sensor four, expecting 50%. So they are all perfectly normal readings. If you wanted to check uh, with all of the gears selected, the only way I know to do that is to put it in rolling test mode with the back wheels off the ground uh, and get the engine going and put it through all the gears. So put it in manual and select the gears with the wheels actually going. And then you can go and test here for each of the individual outputs for each of the gear selections to see that they're correct.